I decided to get a bit more torque on the job. That uh, rotary tool was just stopping. Couldn't hack it. Welcome to Wooden Stuff Workshop. Look at this, the weather's a bit different today. God blimey. At least the wood looks dry over there under the uh, roofing sheets. Right. So yeah, let's have a look at uh, the scooter that we're doing. Sorry about the noise on the roof, it's really chucking it down with rain outside. So what I tried with these, I thought I'd give it a go with some different vinegar. So uh, I had that white vinegar spray that's rubbish because that, I think it's diluted so much. So I tried this distilled vinegar, just uh, ordinary distilled malt vinegar, 45p bargain. So I got two bottles of this, I've used one bottle up to get on these parts. But like I said, that these are all too big to uh, have them in something and try and fill it up. We've used tons of vinegar. So what I've tried here, I've laid out the kitchen roll over the top of parts and then just uh, spilt the vinegar on it and let it soak into it. So what I'm going to have to do now is uh, I'm going to have to neutralise this now with baking soda. Decided to uh, give this a go. So this is fine grade wire wool and what I'm doing is uh, using WD-40 and the wire wool. Just giving it a going over with this. Seems to be working well. So I'm just carefully Fetching off the rough, anything rough, and the rust, and then to see where I've got to, I'm just using paper towel to wipe it off so I can see what's coming off and how it's looking. Okay, so it's Father's Day today. I uh, had a nice lie in this morning, but uh, I have been up and done the shopping this morning and then got changed into my uh, work clothes. So yeah, Father's Day and uh, my daughter and boyfriend bought me this lovely vintage saw that had been made into a sign. So I'm going to have to find somewhere to work. Uh, put that in here but yes that is cool my son bought me uh, son and uh, my daughter-in-law bought me some lovely woodpecker cider because i could never find it and uh, yeah i like that cider so i've got a nice drink and a mug from them and my daughter and a boyfriend off so bought me this 101 things to do in a shed so the first thing I've got to be doing is the wife would like me to move that wood that's still out the front, the uh, bits of tree that's been chopped up. So I think we'll get them moved and then we'll carry on with the vintage scooter. So the wood out the front I want to put in here because at some time I want to build a bit of a roof on it to look after the wood. 
but this most of this is just pine that I'm going to chop up and use for logs uh, I think down at the back of there there is some cherry uh, pieces of cherry that I might if it's still in good condition I might want to try and make something with so at the minute I'm gonna to have to shift all this before I can bring all that through and put it all in here There's the uh, couple of bits of cherry that I've got. So yeah, I might be able to use them for something. Got a nice few potatoes growing around here. So I'll pull them up. But yeah, I'm hoping to get all that stuff out the front, heaped on here somehow. go my back's killing but at least we've got it here now so it's out the way of there just doing some light coats of this metallic spray on the wheels just building the coat up. So what I'm on with here is there's been some gloss paint tipped over the top of this scooter at some time so what i've got is a stanley knife blade and i'm just trying to fetch the gloss paint off without scratching the blue paint off that's underneath so it's a bit of a pain but it is possible i've got some of it off just got to take my time so here we've got the foot board off the scooter. It's in pretty good nick, like I showed you before. There was just a slight little split just there, but I filled that in with uh, sawdust and glue. It was only really tiny. So this just needs sanded up. So I want to sand it all up and then I'll get varnish in it.
Time to start putting the scooter back together again now then. <clears throat> so all these need a clean off when I've got it all together, but they've all been uh, wire walled and WD-40 to clean them off. So they're smooth, but yeah, they're going to get cleaned and then have the machine wax put on when it's together. So I think first thing we'll uh, put the stand back on. some grease on that Let's see if I can find a split pin. Got a split pin in the top of there. Didn't have anything there before, so that's better than it was. Okay, I think I need to get the uh, mud guard on the front first. times quarter past eight on Sunday night I'm nearly there but what I do I think I'll go in tonight and I'll finish this off when I get home from work tomorrow so that'll be tomorrow night for me and it'll be just a second for you so see you in a second There we go, I managed to find this reproduction sticker on eBay, so that's the exact size because when I took the old bit of stickiness off it was exactly the same size as that, I measured it all, lovely. So we put that little Union Jack flag on the front there. We don't know what was on there, but uh, we thought that would be all right. The wooden stuff workshop isn't permanent. That's just some black spray on top of the varnish. So that could just have a light sand off and that will get rid of that and then it can be varnished again if I need to remove it. <laughs> 